Hello everybody, Nerdiversal back here with another video. Um, this isn't... Uh, okay, so like, I'm gonna keep saying that these aren't speed paints just because they're not my normal, you know, kind of style of a speed paint. Um, but they are technically speed paints. So, this is just a redraw. Um, so, okay, so for this version, uh, the fairy that you see right there was actually a redraw of another drawing, which I'll put, like, right here. Right here, okay, you see that? Good, right? Uh, but, um, so that, that was a redraw of itself, but because it was so booty, I decided to do it again. Because I feel like I have sort of the skill level to do it again. But, I, I mean, that was really good for when I first started and i don't know i i really liked it at the time and now that i don't i it's like oh well i guess i didn't like it but i mean when i was younger i didn't really and i don't think i really ever have um as as different as this is usually with the art community i don't think i've ever severely judged my work um when I and when I was younger, uh, I kind of took solace. Is that the word that I'm looking for? I kind of took solace in the fact that I thought that I was a good drawer, and I think that's kind of what pushed me to continue drawing. And so, I I know a lot of artists that do generally put themselves down with their art and stuff, and I sometimes don't think that's a good idea. Like I know friends that'll. I know friends that'll sit there and like, ugh, I hate this, like in the middle of their drawing just over and over and over again. And okay, I'm kind of a hypocrite with this because I do do that sometimes too because there are times when I genuinely hate what I'm drawing. But I know for some people they, they struggle with um, continuing to find motivation for drawing and then they tell themselves that they're a crap artist and then they kind of put them down and then they don't want to draw anymore. And that's not the case for everybody. I do know a lot of people that they, they will uh, take comfort in the fact that they know that they're not good and that there's still room for improvement. Like, I knew a lot of those last year, I know a lot of those this year, uh, I mean, in terms of school, um, where they would, they would insult themselves and that's what made them want to draw. But then I noticed that there's a problem with people who who are constantly insulting their art and can't ever see the good in their art and kind of lose the motivation to draw. And I think that might be part of it is that they find that their art is so crappy. Like even, okay, this here's where I'm going with this though, is that if you genuinely think that your art is crappy, I understand because that's kind of hard to not believe about yourself like if you genuinely don't like your art then that can be a problem that makes you not want to draw so my recommendation my unwanted advice is basically you look at your drawing right and you think it's absolute crap okay so you look at it and you gotta be like this is this is the stuff like even if you don't believe it you just gotta tell yourself you gotta be like yep this is good and if that's not the case then just y y look at your art and say it's okay there's still room for improvement and i can i can still improve um because I, th I think a lot of beginning artists will look at their art their their art that isn't as good compared to their favorite artists and they give up because they're like okay well i'm bad at art i don't think i can uh, continue to do this because it, it's not easy I'm not good and that's part I think that's part of being an artist is kind of continuing and for some reason their way for some reason for some people their ways of continuing is different than others some people will find that it's good to insult themselves because they genuinely think that their art is bad and so they they tell themselves that and then they're like okay but I can still get better and I think that's a good mindset to have if you're if you're gonna constantly critique your art and this isn't to say this isn't to say that you should never think your art is bad, you should never like try to fix your art or critique your art. I do think that's very important is to notice what's wrong 
with your art and improve upon that but to constantly tell yourself well my art is crap i'm such a crappy artist i don't do well i'm bad at shading i'm bad at line arting or whatever i think for maybe some people that's not always the best so yeah that's my unwanted opinion that literally nobody asked for but i decided to put out anyway so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little commentary um i just uh, with this with this drawing i actually did lining not lighting a uh, lighting not lighting not lining <laughs> wow i'm a terrible person look at me being a hypocrite again but anyways point is I decided to do lighting and I hope this came out okay because I decided to use like really light blue in comparison with the other colors and I'm not really sure if I blended those correctly. I'm kind of hoping I did. But the other one didn't really have any. She wasn't her colors weren't really interacting with her environment at all and I don't usually have interacting environments. So this time I decided to sort of challenge myself and like actually do something like that. So I uh, hope that turned out okay, and I'm nearing the end of the drawing, so like, I, I reference the old picture a lot, um, in terms of color and stuff, but I, I think I darkened this one a lot just to make it look a little bit better. I don't know what those bad things are, but okay, so this is the old drawing right here, the one that is like yucky and from 2013, and this is the new one! Nice, and sort of prettily colored that's always grand so i hope you guys like this video guys uh da, 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 da. bye